What is up guys, Dane again. As you can tell, it's been a bit of a while. Uh, yes, 2020 has pretty much kept me right at my computer working away, so I have a lot of new information to share. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Facebook ad campaigns, ABO versus CBO. Now, if you're here just to simply, uh, you know, watch where I just kind of build everything uh, according to the screen, I have a timestamp down below so you can just fast forward to that. But if you like to stay, what we're gonna be talking about is when you would use CBO versus ABO, and pretty much my opinion. So since I'm not really into flashy intros anymore, let's just jump right to it. So let's first start with some terminology, ABO, ad set budget optimization. What that means is at the ad set level is where you set your budget. You might start at say $5 a day or even $50 a day. Hell, you can do $200 a day. Pretty much at the end of the day, the ad set, the audience there is going to have that finite amount of money. Now CBO on the other hand is campaign budget optimization. That means you're setting the budget at the campaign level where you would kind of uh, select what kind of campaign it is like reach, conversion, all that stuff. Now this is the main idea with CBO is that you put the money way up here at the campaign level and you have your different audiences as the ad sets. So what Facebook does is it looks through these audiences, it looks through your ads and says, okay, where can I start connecting the dots? Say for example, if you're doing a CBO conversion campaign, you know, you have your audiences right here, you have your ads right here. Facebook in theory is going to look through all those and say, okay, in this audience, we have buyers here with this ad. Let's start putting the money there. In theory, it works great. And I know I, myself personally, I have used it very well. So the question is, well, Dane, if this works so well, why doesn't Facebook just try and make CBO mandatory? They've tried multiple times. Uh, in fact, I think it was supposed to be this year that CBO was supposed to, become, supposed to become the mandatory way of doing ads. However, there's some drawbacks with CBO and actually why currently I am preferring ABO. Now with ABO, as I said, you set your ad budget at the ad set level for one particular audience. What that means is that that audience will only have that amount of money to play with, which is really good if you're just testing stuff out because you want to have a lot of control. Say if you have a campaign, five or six, maybe 10 audiences, and they all have $5 a day. Well, that really allows you to see like, okay, what does this one audience do with $5? Now, say if we had the same uh, setup for CBO, which I'm actually gonna show on my computer in a few minutes. Say we have $50 a day at CBO, we have our five audiences, so about five or $10 a day, give or take. I'm not good at math, scarcely enough. What that means is Facebook is going to allocate budget where it sees fit. There are times where Facebook will get it wrong. That's why, especially when you're testing out, I like to use ABO. I wanna have as much control as possible to see what audiences are working because I don't want Facebook to throw all of its money on a loser audience and not make any sales. I'd rather you know, hedge my bet and say, okay, Facebook, only on these audiences, they're each getting $5, maybe $10 a day. If this one loses, okay, that's great. I, okay, that sucks, I lost $10. But if this one wins making one or two sales out of $10, that's good. There is a very strong, strong possibility that with CBO, on the other hand, it will say, oh, this loser audience, well, I think it's gonna do better. I'm gonna pull your money there and potentially miss out on a lot more. Now on the flip side, CBO is really powerful once you know what works. So very typical, what I sometimes do, I'll test out different audiences and creatives with ABO where the stakes are much lower, and then I'll attempt to scale them using CBO. So say if I th find three winning audiences at, with ABO at the audience level, I'll then start a CBO campaign with those same audiences, with a creative that worked in ABO and put in CBO because at least I know I have winners. And I start trying to see, can I scale from there? Now, with that being said, that's kind of where the main difference between ABO, CBO, and usually what I like to do with using both. We're gonna jump to my computer now and I'm gonna show you how to do all that stuff. All right, guys, here we are in a brand new ad account and we are going to do a lead gen campaign. So we're gonna go up here going to go to create and I'll select that we're going to do an ABO campaign first. I'm going to click over here to conversions and I always like to name, I hate that they allow it to be um, optional. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me, I mean you need to know what's what. So ABO, I always like to make sure that's really well named. So I'm going to go here. Let's see, so this is the campaign level, we're not doing special categories, we're not doing AB test and we want this off because we're doing ABO. So jump in here into the ad set level, got my pixel, and I want to do leads. So always make sure that's set up correctly. Optimize for what you want. 
Uh, let's see, we're gonna leave this off, this off, and let's just say we're gonna do $10 a day for this campaign. And of course, when it comes to audiences, I already have a few saved audiences right here. Now, one thing I like to share is I actually have this little spreadsheet that I use. This is my little um, audience planner. If you actually want a copy of it, it's down below in the description. Uh, but what I do is I search by interest name and then I make it an audience. And of course, when I start doing testing, I like to highlight this in one of the colors. Usually what I do is, especially if I'm doing Legion, I'll have like 10 to 15 different audiences. And sometimes it gets a little bit confusing about um, when they start, when they end. I usually like to give an audience about, let's say, two to three, maybe four days. So I'll put the start date and I'll put the end date and then I'll put the result. And what I'll do is like if it just did not hit my KPIs, like having a dollar uh, per lead or didn't book any calls, then I'll be like, okay, it's a failure. If it did good, great. I want to test some creatives with it and see what else works. Um, or I want to see if I can start doing some scaling with it. So if you want a copy of this, it just helps because after a while when you have so many ads, it gets a little bit confusing in there. Um, I got one down below. But anyways, I'm going to be testing out these audiences that I have right here. So going over to my ad set. Let's see, we're going to be going to saved audiences. As you can tell, it's already populated. United States, 18 to 65, interested in online advertising. You'll see why in a second. And I am purposely keeping it really, really broad. As you can tell, it's a huge audience. So we're going to go through with that. And again, I'm keeping this nice and simple. And now we need to create some ads. So let's go ahead and I have a couple of dummy ads that I'm going to put in. So this is going to take a bit. And usually what I like to do is like say add copy one image A. That way I know what's what. So I'm just going to go down here. Add media. Let's see what pops up because you never really know sometimes. Upload. And I have all sorts of stuff. I'm going to go for this image first. Now this allows you to optimize for different things. I personally like to stick with one or the other. So I'm just going to say square. And that looks good to me. And of course now we need some uh, copy. So I got some right here. And of course we need our website. Okay, so cool. I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these ads real quick. All right, and now I have this all set up here. So since I have all the ads built, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this and add in my other audiences. Uh, let's do brick and mortar on this audience. Now one thing you'll notice is between these two audiences right here, and this is actually one reason why uh, you might choose to do ABO. So this has uh, 4.3 uh, 4 million people, while this audience, online advertising, has 34 million people. That's quite a discrepancy. And actually, in fact, let me, I'm going to add one more audience in here. Um, this is something that CBO will struggle to do with, um, but ABO can do pretty decently. And it really just kind of depends on what you're uh, trying to uh, accomplish. So I have this one right here uh, business owners. This is a demographic one, employers. Um, I'm not sure, kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, there it is. So notice how it says uh, 27,000 people. That's a quite a big difference. Now, in this case, what I would do is I would, if I, if I must test these audiences, I would do an ABO. Here's why. With CBO, Facebook is going to say, oh, wow, there's 34 million people here. I, have a pro I probably have a much better chance of getting a low-cost lead going through 34 million people versus, what do we have here, 27 uh 2,700 people. You know, there's a good chance with CBO, Facebook will just say, oh, I'm going to dump most of my money into this uh, campaign because you're looking to get leads. You know, great, I will get you leads. Well, the question is, do you just want leads or do you want people that are qualified to go for it? Because uh, it could be that, you know, online advertising, these could be people that like, say, Ty Lopez videos. If you're trying to run like a, like a real business business and you're not just looking for, you know, people who are just trying to hustle, you know, true, you might get really cheap leads. You might get 50 cent leads, and that might be great. But it could be it's this one right here on, you know, people that are saying that they're employed by a small business owner or they are a small business owner. Hey, you might not get as many leads, but it could be that these are very qualified customers. Uh, with ABO, you don't have to worry about Facebook um, 
screwing that up and just say taking $30 and putting it only here and not here. Um, so with ABO, I mean, pretty much it's forcing Facebook to only have $10 here. Now, of course, the downside is if the real good leads are here and you're only spending $10, it could be these are trash leads. Um, it could be that these are much more expensive and they don't convert well while these are cheap and convert well. It makes it a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this and I'm going to show you actually a quick trick on if you built an ABO campaign and you decided to go CBO. So I'm going to let this publish. It's not going to run. I have it turned off because i um, not really looking to uh, you know drive traffic to this offer. Let's see. Just need this to load up. Okay, so one thing you can do pretty easily if you want to keep everything the same, highlight the campaign. Make sure you don't have anything else selected, just the campaign. Sometimes Facebook gets confused. Do a duplicate. And now, I know that there's this AV test function. I'm not sold on it. I've used it. I've not really been sold on it. Maybe I'm just a stick in the mud. I like to just create a whole new campaign. Okay, so now right now we're at the campaign level. I'm going to change the name of this to CBO. And then you would actually switch it on just like that. And that will take care of everything else. So it'll be $30, and that would be it. Because one, what I'll do is I'll walk you through this. If you go through it, it Facebook will see this as a whole new uh, campaign. All the audiences, everything will be there except now. Uh, the budget is at the campaign level. So the way how I built it out in ABO is the exact same way. Like here is all my ads, as you can tell. Exact same ads, exact same everything. One thing I actually put together, if you guys want, I made this quick little uh, cheat sheet right here showing the different types of CBOs, ABOs, and stuff like that. So if you want to have like kind of like a visual guide to go along, I got this down below in the description as well. I'll send it to you. Uh, but that's all there pretty much is to take uh, when it comes to really, um, you know, set up an ABO and a CBO campaign. They're both set up the same way. The real differentiator is going to be up top at the campaign consideration level. And of course, you know, you just have to think, well, does it make sense to have a whole bunch of audiences all at the same level? Actually, I want to bring up one thing about CBO that's really useful. Like as I said, um, with the ABO, I would run that campaign ABO because we have different sized audiences. If you have audiences that are all about the same size, three to four or five million, or even say three to four or five thousand, then I would maybe consider CBO as well because it's roughly the same audience size. As I mentioned before, you know, having a huge audience next to an audience with only a couple thousand, you know, that audience is never gonna the couple thousand audience is not gonna have a chance. I mean, Facebook is just gonna say, you want cheap leads? Well, there's a lot more of them, so we're just gonna go that way. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to jump off my computer. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. As I mentioned in my little screen share video, I might have forgotten, I do have a little handout, a cheat sheet down below in case you just want to have you know, something physical to look at uh, while you're putting together your campaigns. I also have my Facebook audience planner. Um, once you start doing a lot of different types of prospecting, trying to see what kind of uh, ads uh, and audiences work together really well, I usually like to use this planner. Um, just so I don't lose track, because it's really easy to make all these audiences and say this one sucks, this one works. I like to use it. So if you want both of those things, I have them down below as well. With that being said, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. I plan on getting right back into making content again so I can kind of have a little bit of sanity. And I will see you guys next time.